Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the brand new action film, John Wick Chapter 4. Of course, this is obviously the fourth film in the franchise. This brings back uh, Keanu Reeves as the epitome uh, John Wick. Uh, and this picks up where the, well, it's a, it's a time after the events of the last film where he had been shot by Winston, the hotel manager of the Continental in New York. And uh, he's basically uh, still uh, fighting the table. Which is the you know the this the this big organization organized crime organization, and he's his goal is basically take out the all the hierarchy of the t of the table so he can gain his freedom, um, and be you know basically be free of the organization because they he's persona non grata and ex well, excommunicated and they're they're coming after him to to kill him and so uh, basically this is just like the gung fu of uh, the previous chats as you've seen. The previous uh john wick movies no i thought the first one always thought the first one was the best this i think in my opinion by far was the best film of the franchise um the action is just insane in this movie <laughs> like every every scene you think oh my god those stunts just amazing stunts you know the guy where he just going out just taking her out guys like left and right and just the massive buys and you're like, oh my god, they couldn't top themselves. Well, in the in the next scene, they they top themselves, and you're just like, oh my god. In each location, uh, where he meets new, he has new allies, but then he also has just tons and tons of enemies. And every time they put out a new, they increase the bounty on him. That means there's more and more hitmen come after him. And the scenes are just at points again, seeing like where he goes from, uh, you know, he goes from Osaka to to Berlin to Paris, and then each and each city he goes to. Like there's just more and more hitmen and it just kills keeps killing guys in more insane insane ways and it's doing this crazy action. And of course of course, you know, you, you have to suspend your disbelief because of course John Wick, if he was a mortal man, he would have died like a hundred times over in these movies. Because he just takes like uh insane falls, like insane hits, like he gets hit by cars, like constantly. He gets he falls out of buildings, he lands on cars, um he's rolling down stairs like he just taking like these insane falls that um or as they say in the wrestling business bumps uh, they take these insane bumps that like no normal person like he would have broken every bone in his body uh of course he would have been shot 10 times and like times you're getting shot point blank and of course they explained that his suit he's got kevlar in his suit but still i mean he's taking like point blank shots at times and just like, dude, how's this guy not dead? <laughs> it's just, it's like, yeah, it's insane. But I mean, that to me, that's the that's the fun of it. Because there, there are points there where like the action is just so crazy, so insane. I, at points, I just had to laugh. Cause it's like, oh my god, this is it, this is like the greatest thing I've ever seen. I mean, to me, this is definitely like one of the greatest action movies ever. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not being I'm not being hyperbolic about that. Um, just they they so raise the stakes in this movie. And because the way he, he wants it, you know, his final goal is to get go after the um, Marquise, who's the he's the overseer of the table. He's like the head honcho who is trying to kill John Wick, um, and yeah, he, by, played by Bill Skarsgård. Um, and then of course um, his his friend Winston, and there's uh, he's he's great. Like every every person in like and then Clancy Brown plays the arbitrator, like. Every person in in this movie has a great acting job. Everyone has a has a role to play, and does so well. Like every person in this that he comes across, and everyone like because nobody, very few people want to be associated with him because that means they they'd be marked for death too. Um, so, the, but everybody comes along. It's like it plays such an important role in him getting to that final, basically the final boss. And it's because at, at points here, like it does the movie does kind of feel like a video game because he's like going through. Like kind of feels like you're going through levels and trying to make it to, to the final boss, and and there are parts that are like and there's part of like even where they take the camera during an action scene and they go uh, up above to see the action going on. So it does feel like you're watching a video game from above, you know, above the realm, like uh, like any action uh, packed video game. And so it's just I just love the the camera work they done in this movie. Um, like I said, the stunts are amazing. It got handed off to the stuntman. Um, just the, the job they did this, I just, oh my God, this looks like a movie they would have taken like so long to put together because after John Wick 3, you're like, there's, there's no way they can top that. Well, they topped it in John Wick 4. This is definitely, I think the, the best 
installment of the franchise. And it's like, wow. And I, you know, I, I don't know if they'll ever do John Wick 5, but even the, if they did, like I said, I was like, oh my God. It, it was insane. Oh, and um, in the he plays Randy and Donnie Yen in this movie is, is great too. He's He plays one of the assassins. There's a Dunny Yen, and then there's another character named Mr. Nobody. There's two there are two assassins hired by the table to go after John Wick. Uh, but they're also kind of like empathetic characters too. They're just antagonists, but so in ways they're trying to kill John Wick, but they also uh, empathize with John Wick in many ways. And of course, Mr. Nobody has a dog, of course, because of course you have to have a dog in a John Wick movie. Um, so they they made great both of them make great additions. Uh, to uh, to this movie, and like I said, the action scenes are just great. The the uh, the martial arts are just insane. So they include the martial arts with the guns. So like you know, the gun fu. So you, you kill people with like either guns or knives or swords or just straight up martial arts beating people up. I mean the action is just not stop in this movie. I, you really hand it off to stunt coordinators for all the stunts. Like it had to take so long to to make this movie because it's just so much planning they had to do on this. And it's just like to the points where it's like, yeah, and just the amount of people he kills in all these different scenes of John Wick, and just, uh, he pretty much is a, a Terminator in this, in this in this movie, and just like all the hits he takes and everything, you're just like, oh my god, like like the point at points, like the audience at points was just laughing, because just like, oh my god, this is so over the top, so you know, massive, but it's just like, but we were loving in my theater, we were just loving every scene because it was just like. The way they just kept topping themselves with the action, you're just like, oh my god, what, what could be next? What, what are they thinking of next? So I, I just can't gush the movie. I mean, this is definitely, I mean, of course, it's only March, but I'd say this is probably by my hands, by hand far, this will be the best action movie of the year. I can't really see any, I mean, there's probably going to be good action movies coming out, but I don't see any other action movie topping this movie. It's got to be, it's got to be the best movie of the year. Uh, I mean, it's only March, but it's over. Like, this is the best action movie of the year. So, if you liked the uh, the first three John Wick movies, definitely go out and see this one. This is by far the best, and it definitely puts a cap to the the franchise. Um, if you're if you're just an average action fan, I mean, I, I if you if you're not into really violent movies, then yeah, be cautious. Probably not go because this is super uber violent. <laughs> if you're not into violence, you do not go to see John Wick. But if you're if you like the overtop action of John Wick, I can I highly highly recommend this. It's a great time, and you'll have so much fun. And I said they hands off to Keanu to the director to Lawrence Fishburne was uh, you know got Bowery King in this um, like all the cast, uh, yeah Ian McShane as uh, as Winston and Clancy Brown and the whole cast was everybody did a great job and this is just such a it's a wild ride. That's all I can tell you. I don't want to spoil anything because it's just an amazing wild ride. So definitely go check out in the theaters, uh, biggest screen you can. I can't recommend. Uh, I can when recommend, recommend John Wick Chapter Four anymore. I mean, it's it's an it's an amazing fun ride. So once again, that's that's everyone. That's uh, my review of John Wick Chapter Four. If you've seen it, please leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. And please, once again, everybody, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will. Catch you later. Hey, bye.